What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to the zombie storyline, the fifth and final part here today on the channel. We're going to be finishing up everything that we know so far about the zombie storyline and where we can see it take us into Black Ops 3 with not only Shadows of Evil but also the Giant because there are a bunch of storyline tie-ins that can be made here from that. But again, as the past couple of videos, part four can be found in the description below and if you guys are wondering, this is in fact from the Call of Duty wiki. Again, I can't really summarize this as well as the wiki can I feel like if I tried I would cut out a bunch of pieces that are very crucial to the story so without further ado let's pick up right where we left off Rick Dauphin began to question Maxis's actions believing the amplification rods to be a myth convinced of his insanity he planned to report his mental instability to group 935's leaders while Samantha began to communicate more frequently with Maxis now attempting to convince him of her being his future daughter one night, as a team of soldiers were installing more generators, they reported seeing strange and ancient figures emerging from the mound and finding many of the men dead or missing by morning. As more figures emerged, now revealed to be corpses reanimated by Element 115's powers, the test site slowly became infected by the creatures, with Maxis himself slowly turning. The reports of the creatures provoked the United States to send Tank Dempsey to the site to investigate the group's work and acquire Dr. Rick Toffin as an HVT. Meanwhile, Civil War torn Russia did the same, believing the Germans had been gearing up to unleash a dangerous new weapon and sent Nikolai Belinsky to undertake the mission. The Emperor, wishing to seize the German weaponry for Japan, sends Takeo Masaki. As the three soldiers made their way to the site, Richthofen attempted to preserve Maxis's mind and prevent it from succumbing to the disease and removed his brain. Eventually, the four heroes meet and agree to put aside their country's allegiances to band together and survive the zombie attack and group 935's mechanical robots, while being contacted by Samantha in the midst of battle, begging to be released from Agartha. While Tank, Nikolai, and Takiao agreed to help, Richtofen focused on creating a makeshift quadrotor drone using Maxis's brain, allowing him to live temporarily until a human body could be provided. The four are able to open a portal to Agartha beneath the ruins, allowing Maxis to meet his future daughter and Samantha to be freed from controlling the zombies. The zombies outbreak was contained. After the four heroes are teleported to Agartha to meet Samantha, they learn from her what has happened in her timeline. Later, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takiao are somehow teleported to the Doris facility in the original timeline, only moments after Richtofen trapped Maxis and Samantha inside a teleporter with Fluffy. The three of them confront him, telling him that this is a chain of events that must be carried out and prompt him to awaken the original version of themselves. As the zombie horde approached them from outside, Richtofen ignores the three warnings and turns on the teleporter, only to find the young Richtofen from the alternate timeline inside it. The young Richtofen then shoots the older Richtofen in the head, killing him instantly and supposedly erasing all future events. While the group expresses disappointment in Richtofen for tampering with history, he defends his actions, believing that he has done what he has to do to secure a better tomorrow. However, by this time, Samantha was already in the MPD and began controlling the zombies, thus making it too late to prevent the infection. So as you can see, that is the wrap here up on the zombie storyline. Some of you guys may in fact be a little bit confused, but to put it lightly, it is a giant loop here. A lot of people do speculate that it's not necessarily an exact loop, which I do agree with. There's going to be a lot of changes here coming with Black Ops 3, but that last piece is exactly where the giant picks up, and we can see where it's going to go further in the future. Obviously, with things being completely different, it leaves a lot of open holes in the story and a lot of new places that the characters can go. That really, though, is everything that we know on the zombie storyline, and hopefully Hopefully you guys did enjoy this, hopefully you guys it did provide a little bit more insight into what we can see here coming in November. I know a lot of people over the past weeks have been in fact asking me to make a video series or video in general on all of this. Yes, it was a little too long to put into one video, so we elongated it over five videos. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. Did you guys follow this out of the past five episodes here, or are you still a little bit confused? I can try and maybe make another video once I get back from traveling that maybe can explain this in a little bit more compact of a version. I'll do my best if need be, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for Black Ops 3 Zombies now having already heard having heard the entire full story here or are you guys just where you're at right now? 
kind of just living with it. Love to hear your thoughts down there. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. If you did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you enjoyed like that, I always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Zombies content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.